So the three activities that I chose to do is my first one, I'm going to Madsen to volunteer at a class that I used to be in. I used to be in science and leadership in middle school. And I think that it would help because I could answer a lot of questions from the middle schoolers about how like the science is and how the school is and how the environment is. And I am going, my second one's I'm going to go give blood and I'm scared for this one because my iron has been pretty low but hopefully they'll let me and um, I think that it'll help because a lot of people are unhealthy and need these blood transfusions and the fact that people volunteer to give blood is really nice because they could die and then the third one I chose to do is to observe a court case and I think this one really helps because you can see what's going on in your community and how everything gets handled and to see that if something does happen to you this is what's gonna happen and so it's like a like it'll scare it's like a scare tactic I guess so that you know what you're doing and you are set on what you have to do and then hopefully they will turn out well hopefully I can give blood and going back to Madsen is really good because I am senior and I haven't been there in a while so it'll be nice to see my old teachers hi I am now at Madsen middle school as my first civics project thing and I think that going back to your middle school helps the community because you can prepare the other students that are upcoming freshmen to prepare them to do better and know so they know what they're doing in school. So you're saying you're the assignment choices, they can pick any of those 11 that equals 75 points. Yeah. Excellent. And starting Thursday, these will all be open inside uh, Canvas. So, do you think they're happy with the seat? I just got done with Matson and we stayed there the whole day and I think that it helped them because they asked a lot of questions about high school and like what you need to do and how the environment is so it really prepared them. Hi, I'm at the Bloodworks Northwest in Tokyoa to give blood and I think giving blood is good for the community because you can help other people. So I just got done giving blood and it made me really dizzy, I almost passed out, but I think that it did help people because a lot of people aren't as healthy as I am and some people can't even walk because they their blood isn't healthy. So I am now going to the Kent or City Hall to watch a court case and I think that it is important that we know what's going on in our city so then we can keep ourselves safe and, and keep others safe. So we just got done watching the court case and we met a woman named Monica White and she had three more cases to do so we couldn't really interview her in person and we couldn't really take a video inside the courtroom so I interviewed her by phone and I asked her why did she choose to become a lawyer and she said that she chose to become a lawyer because she she took classes in college and she didn't really know that she wanted to be a lawyer until after college and she said that the law classes really stood out to her the most and then I asked her if she enjoyed it and she said she does and it's a lot of hard work and it's tough for some people but it's not as tough as people would actually expect and she said that one thing that you people should know is that um, it's a lot of hard work and like long nights and you do have to dedicate yourself to that and then I asked her to describe a typical day and she said that it's like a balancing act and she's talking to a lot, a lot of clients that are that think that they're important and their issues need to be handled immediately and then you have 
to review the cases prior to meeting with the person and then they active and then you have to be prepared for the court and that includes actively communicating with clients, conducting re legal research, setting up court hearings, etc. And then lawyers also help paralegals that help them with that. And then I asked her what's the hardest part about it and she said that you have to have a thick skin. There are days when you'll be working with the most unbearable, unreasonable people and some people get really like mad about their case and what you can and can't do and you just have to do your best and even though they're mad that's the best you can do and then i asked like how long it takes to prepare for a case and she said that it takes like usually six to eight weeks or maybe more it just depends on how what the case is and then i asked do you need a certain diploma and she said you just have to go into the field and then if you work at a firm then they they have enough resources and they can pay for your school later on to be a lawyer so, i did all three of my activities they really had me realize how much i can do and what will help me for my future and what can help me become a better person and help me grow because when I went to Madison a lot of the kids were like they asked me a lot of questions and they seemed really scared about high school and there's really nothing to be scared of so it's nice to give them some comfort and from like a high schooler themselves it's nice to actually see like since when I went to Madison I was scared and then when now that going back as a senior it really help me realize like how much this place made me grow and then going to give blood i've always wanted to give blood but i always couldn't and i finally did and it was scary because i almost did pass out but it's okay and it's not that far from people if it's not at your school like it's not that far it's only in took really a your way and it's pretty simple and they make sure that you're healthy and it really helped other people and it's nice to know that I got a chance to help others and then observing a court case really made me realize like there are bad people in the world but as long as you're not the one then there's one less person that's bad.